So I've been wondering, am I a good ancestor? And what does that even mean? So this question first came to me as I studied a, a one-of-a-kind book by Leila F. Saad. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The book is titled Me and White Supremacy, Combat Racism, Change the World, and Become a Good Ancestor. The author writes, the primary force that drives my work is a passionate desire to become a good ancestor. Now that statement certainly got me to thinking. While it was written as a personal anti-racism tool, I found that while using the book and working on myself to learn about, understand, and take ownership of my participation in the oppressive system we currently live in, the same question applies to other areas of my life as well. Oh, by the way, if you'd like to check out the book, and I do advise that, I'll leave a link to Amazon in the description below. So what does it mean to be a good ancestor? Well, I believe it simply means that what I do now has more impact on future generations than it possibly could have in the society that I live in today. There's a quote from the 1970s that says, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Now in that case, I think it pertains to both societal and environmental issues. Interestingly, the first thing I realized while pondering this question is that in order for me to be a good ancestor, I have to consider future generations ahead of my own desires and wants. Now sure, my needs have to be provided for, but I also have to remember that everything I do today has a greater impact than just what I see. Our planet, the society we've developed, and human rights are at risk for our de descendants. For me to sit back and allow the destruction of our world, our democracy, and our constitution by those who would do so just to satisfy their own immediate desires and imaginings certainly would not make me a good ancestor. And you know what? I want to be a good ancestor. So with this in mind, I pay attention to politics and the direction those we've elected are taking, always with our kids, grandkids, and beyond in mind. But at the same time, I try to keep an open, inquisitive mind. You see, not only do I not think that I have all the answers, but I strongly believe that if we all keep our descendants in mind, together we can ensure that they will benefit from our efforts. And after all, isn't that what we would like to have as our legacy? I take the time to reduce, reuse and recycle, and I try to be kind to my environment I'm doing what I can to be less reliant on fossil fuels and hope someday before I leave the planet to be completely independent of them. I'm mindful of the privilege that I enjoy simply by being born white and male. I'm supportive of the efforts to end both blatant and systemic racism. Now that doesn't mean I pretend I don't see color. It means to me to celebrate our differences and contributions to each other and to society, to work towards equality and equity for everyone. I mean, after all, we're all one family. One message that came through very clearly from Saad's book is the reality that me simply not doing racist things or my individual efforts on climate emergency, while necessary, aren't as effective as actively working against those issues. We all need to be activists. I believe education to be paramount and while it won't change the mind of those who are willfully ignorant, it can reverse the influence of the tidal wave of misinformation we see, particularly on social media. Now that said, each of us decides for ourselves what we wish for our descendants. 
I suppose that will depend on where our individual beliefs and priorities lie. So for those who don't accept the science of climate change, maybe their focus on the economy has precedent. For others who carry the belief of one race or religion being superior to others, their choices will reflect that. Still others, whose focus is on inclusivity, equity, equality, and who believe in the reality of the climate emergency, may wish to forego other ideals. So what kind of world will we leave our descendants? <laughs> Are we willing to make any sacrifices to ensure a better future, even though we won't be here for it? What do we really want for our children? Are we truly considering them as we live our own lives? These are the kinds of questions I ask myself. Rather than leaving some form of dystopian world that is bereft of reason and humanity, we have an opportunity to choose to be the ancestors that considered those who would follow in our footsteps. Will we leave them a healthy planet and an inclusive society? I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment or drop me a message. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then hit that bell to be notified when new videos are uploaded. So in the meantime, stay safe and enjoy your day. I'm wishing you peace, health, and harmony. Bye for now.